All right, so in this video, we are going to be converting from cubic feet per second to gallon per minute, and then back and forth the other way. I'm also gonna show you a shortcut. So remember that CFS is equal to cubic feet per second. We wanna be writing it like this during these conversions. Remember that GPM is a gallon per minute we want to write it like this when we're doing these conversions. So just keep that in mind. So let's start with CFS and convert to GPM. Now, let's just start with something simple. Let's say 10 cubic feet per second. We know we want to rewrite that out as a fraction right away. So 10 cubic feet per second. We want to set up our conversion factor here. And keep in mind, we need, are going to need to convert cubic feet to gallons and seconds to minutes. So let's tackle the volume component first. In order to get rid of cubic feet up top, I need to have cubic feet down below right here. I'm gonna get rid of cubic feet as such and bringing in gallons. And then I need to pull out my conversion sheet. Uh, as you're starting to get familiar, you'll memorize it. 7.48 gallons for every one cubic feet. Now I'm not done here. If I were to just multiply across, I end up with gallons per second. I'm trying to get to gallons per minute. So let's make sure we tackle that second part here. Now, when I'm trying to get rid of seconds, because seconds is on the bottom here, I need to put it up top over here on the opposite side. I'm trying to bring in minutes. I know there are 60 seconds for every one minute. This is gonna cancel seconds. We're gonna be able to multiply across. I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy calculator. I'm gonna do 10 times 7.48 times 60 seconds, 4488. So in other words, 4,488 gallons per minute. All right. Okay, now I want to point out the shortcut here in that this part of the conversion factor here is always going to be the same. We're always going to use 7.48 gallons per cubic foot, 60 seconds per minute. So when we come in here and multiply 7.48 times 60, just the brackets here, we're going to get 448.8. So that is a shortcut you can use. So for this problem, we could just do 10 cubic feet per second times 448.8, and that's going to get us to our same answer here. You can use this shortcut going the other way, which we're going to do now. So let's look and let's say now we're given, let's just say 10 gallons per minute. And we are trying to convert to cubic feet per second. We're just gonna go the other way. So let's set it up first like we always do. Let's tackle the volume component first to get rid of gallons. Top bottom, we're gonna put it on the opposite side. I'm trying to bring in cubic feet. I know there are 7.48 gallons for every one cubic foot. We also are gonna to need to take care of minutes. So minutes is on the bottom here. It needs to go up top over here. We're trying to bring in seconds. I know there are 60 seconds for every one minute. So I'm gonna take my calculator. I'm gonna do 10 gallons per minute. I'm gonna divide by 7.48 because it's on the bottom. I'm then gonna divide by 60 seconds because it's on the bottom. And I get 0.8. 0 0.02228, da, da, da. we're gonna put 0 0.022. And this is gonna be our cubic feet per second. Keeping in mind that if you're using the shortcut, the only difference here, the 7.4860 is still gonna give you the 448.8, but in this case, we're gonna do 10 divided by 448.8 to get us two cubic feet per second. Remember that the in cubic feet per second, the number should be smaller because we're talking about the water that passed through in just one second, as opposed to gallon per minute, we're talking about 60 seconds, right? So going from gallon per minute to cubic feet per second, my number should always go down. To go from CFS to GPM, my number should go up. Okay.